Alrighty guys, when is the best time to eat? Can you guess? Is it supper? Is it right before bed? Is it lunch? Is it breakfast? Is intermittent fasting? What's the best one? What's going on guys? My name is Caden Hare, I'm the CEO of Coach Hare and I teach busy pros who are stuck, how they can lose weight, keep it off for life and gain back all their energy with zero restrictions. All right. So today's video, what we're we talking about is what I just said. <laughs> when is the best time to eat? Okay. So the number one best time to eat guys. And if, if you're an intermittent faster, if you like to fast, plug your ears, but this is just science. Okay. The number one best time to eat for weight loss to have the most effective weight loss is in the morning. Your breakfast should be the biggest meal of the day. Okay. Let me explain. First of all, your breakfast should be high in protein. It should be very low in carbs. The reason being is because carbs are a comfort food and they make us tired. They're going to make us sluggish. Use the protein for your energy. That being said, high protein, you're going to have, you're going to be able to use this energy throughout the day. Okay. When you have a high breakfast, you utilize it more. You, uh, you use this energy more because you're moving around. You're alive. You're thinking, you're doing things that are burning calories. It's not storing in your body. Okay. Breakfast, hot, biggest meal of the day. Then your lunch should be about medium sized. Okay. A little bit of carbs, but it should more so should be balanced with a high amount of protein, high protein, carbs and fats can be more so balanced. Okay. After lunch, have a snack or so. Okay. This is, this is just like the typical, like the number one best kind of diet too, guys. This is not like the one size, you know, every single person should be doing this because everyone's different. Remember, it's all about sustainability and realistic being realistic, but this is science. Okay. After lunch, you want about three hours later, you want to have about a snack. Okay. And the reason why you want to be eating about three hour time frame, guys is because what's going to happen. If not your blood sugar, everything's going to get messed up. You're going to start craving uh, high calorie meals, etc. So you want to make sure you're actually snacking through the day at proper times, because if not, then you actually can lead to weight gain because you'll go out and binge eat certain foods or it's wrong times with outside of your 12 hour internal zone, which I did in another training I talked about. So that being said, after lunch, you want about a high carb snack. Okay. This is usually before you work out. Okay. If you're working on the evenings, so high carb snack, balanced protein and fat, higher carbs. After you're done your workouts at in the evening, you want to make sure your last meal of the day is very small, but to make sure you don't have cravings at nighttime, try to keep it to the end of that 12 hour time frame. So if you eat it first at seven in the morning, last meal of the day should be at six 30, right before 7 PM. Okay and have it small and have it high in protein, high in protein, low in carbs, a good balance of fats. Okay. So if, if, if you ever have those late night cravings, guys, how to work around this is to have about a hundred to 200 calories worth of carbs. This is comfort food. This is going to make us tired. This is going to make us want to sleep. All right. That's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, if you took something out of this video, if you feel like it's going to help you progress, anything towards your goals, tag a friend below who needs to see this, share this onto your stories and get this out there to help other people. That's all I ask in return. That being said, guys, have an amazing day, show some love and I'll be seeing you later.